Well, born and raised in Washington, D.C., Tommy Smith was a martial artist, musician, and a founder of a group called Los Latinos. But most people in the D.C. area know him simply as Mr. Mambo. He died earlier this month at the age of 82, but continued to be active until his 70s, late 70s, with dance venues across the region. The beloved dancer is being remembered by friends, fans, and family. During that time period, the Mambo craze kind of swept the United States, including Washington, D.C. So he actually had the experience of going to the world famous Palladium, I believe he said when he was 17 or 18, uh, when, he, uh, when it was in New York and it was in full effect. And uh, it was him and a couple of people from D.C. They fell in love with the Mambo dance as they saw it in New York. Um, and they were doing it in D.C. And so he had been known around town for doing it. And so when he started hitting the local Latin clubs in the late 80s and the 90s, um, the people who knew said, wow, you're dancing mambo, you're not dancing salsa. And he was recognized as one of the few people that was authentically dancing mambo. And then at some point, parties unknown, they dubbed him Mr. Mambo. Funeral services will be held tomorrow at Temple Bethel in the district. Viewing will be from 6 to 7 p.m. and the funeral service takes place from 6 to 9, 7 to 9. The service will also be live streamed. A Tommy, Mr. Mambo Smith leaves behind two children, two grandchildren, as well as other relatives.